It was another sweltering day in British Columbia. It's like we are in Cuba. Dangerously hot temperatures in the interior felt upwards of 43 degrees with the humidex as heat warnings continue both there and on the east coast where the humidex reached 38 degrees. The air just feels so still and thick. Climate change is already affecting us. To prove that, scientists at Environment and Climate Change Canada have used a new tool, sophisticated computer analysis, which compares climate models based on the 1800s to the present day and provides results within a week. Before this system, we could do this type of analysis, but it would take several months after the event before we had results. Their first analysis comes from last month's heat wave in eastern and Atlantic Canada, revealing average peak temperatures were 10 degrees higher than normal in southern Quebec and the east coast. After crunching the data, the system determined that heat wave was made at least two to ten times more likely by human-caused climate change. And in our calibrated language, that means it was much more likely than, than it would have been in the absence of human-caused climate change. The scientists are first using the system for extreme heat events, but the plan is to eventually use it for extreme cold weather events and extreme precipitation. Even with climate change, if we expect extreme cold events to occur less often, we will still have extreme cold events. Environment Canada says the end goal is to help Canadians better prepare for and understand the change in climate. More compelling information for Canadians to understand what the, the role of climate change means, how it affects our, our lives. Both now and in the future, their next analysis will look at the current heat wave in the West. Heidi Petrochik, Global News, Halifax.